Hey guys, <clears throat> well I just received uh, my new uh, Reload Tinker 2. Before I started opening it up I figured I'd show it. So this is actually um, kind of washed out so it's not the video and I'm sorry for the shadows. I was trying to get it as much as possible but either, either way. So I got the blue purple. There we go. And on this side it shows uh, some of their websites, everything else, social media. So, this is it. Really, really nice. This is IP67 <clears throat> waterproof, dustproof. Shock, uh, shock resistant. It is uh, spring loaded. It does have some gaskets here. Chamber. You got a good plus and minus. I was kind of worried about going to this, something like this because. Um, the door hinges, I have a, a Smock a G320. It's a, kind of been my backup one, but the door on it is kind of messed up. I had a uh, Vaporesso Lux that I was using for a little bit and uh, started giving me a lot of issues, not reading the tanks right and everything. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some batteries. I should have had them already, but anyway, I'm going to get some batteries, put a tank on it, and see what it's like. All right, so let's go through this real quick. See if there's anything. So, it's just, oh, I'm going to pull tab. Ha! Huh. Didn't see it. What does that say? Please be careful to not use vents or casings. It's a safety hazard, which is very true. It's a little manual on what everything means. It's a pretty simple interface. Not sure what this is. I don't know where it came from. All right, and then uh, you get a little charge cable. It's still micro USB. -C. Marco USB, not USB C yet. There's very few of them out there. Can't really wait till they come out with those, but either way. So, here's this. It's a little dim, and I, I saw a review on that. <clears throat> so, that's unfortunate. Um, I don't remember the, uh, the dimensions. But I will put it on the screen so you can see what the dimensions are. And this is a uh, smock uh, 12 prints. So, uh, 51 watts. I do low wattage on my stuff. And to get into the menu, one, two, three. We got mode, setting, info. Mode, you know, power, temperature control, TCR, RTCR, RTC. I'm not sure what that is. And then one, two, three. You know, setting, uh, coil lock, power, stealth, sub uh, para, clock, preheat, timeout. So 10 seconds for the screen to turn off. Exit. Info. Battery version. So it'll tell you your um, uh, voltage. And version of your software. And focus. And then, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. It's not like a lot of the, uh, you know, the other ones out there uh, that 
have just a bunch of stuff in there. Fairly simple, very beautiful. I like it. I um, wanted to go to a <clears throat> touchscreen, but all the touchscreens and stuff, they break too easily. Uh, a lot of times they just, they don't have the quality like this with the smaller screen. This one's colored. And uh, another thing I've noticed too is with touchscreens, your battery doesn't last half as long as ones with these. And um, for instance, here's my old old school G323 uh, 3 battery. I wish we could get some more of these out in the market, but they're not super popular. Uh, <clears throat> see, the screen size is a little bit bigger on this on this one, but uh, um, with my other uh, Vaporesso, I could get maybe half a day vaping the same amount and everything on that one, but I can get almost pretty much a full day on this. That's from the time I wake up to about maybe 7 o'clock at night when I need to actually start charging. Sometimes I'll get longer. Uh, this one, time will tell. And, uh, yeah. Let's see how uh, quickly it vapes up, and uh, we'll go to a face shot. Yay. So, here we go. This is at 15.15 uh, ohms. So, the tank, of course. Uh, the tank's a little, uh, not the tank, but the pool's a uh, couple weeks old, so. And um, I'm about to adjust the pre preheat setting because it seems to kind of gradually go up. It's not a kind of strong, which is good. So, it's pretty much the same. I mean, it's a mod. It's the tank and the juice. Um, if you're wondering what juice I am, I make my own. This is a uh, pineapple flavor. It's a uh, three milligram. Yeah, I make my own. It's much cheaper, so much cheaper to make it. it Cost me about maybe a dollar twenty-five, two dollars to make this. So, uh, if you would like, leave it in the comments. I'll show you how to make uh, make your own. Um, it's, it, it can be hard. It can be hard. Um, also, too, uh, I got a new tank coming in. I also got a uh, RBA coming in for this one as well. Uh, I've been building and vaping for seven years, so I got. A little bit of little bit of an experience building probably about maybe four four or five um, the other tank I got coming in is a Wotofo uh, Mr. Right uh, tank so I bought some uh, everything with that and I'll do a review on that see what it's like and everything and I also bought some uh, max co uh, max uh, mesh coils for this just to try them out because I've been using stripe coils for for a while now but anyway, uh, thank you for watching and do what inspires you. Thanks.